Let's talk about something in the pros. We like to mention our men and women that have, yes, moved on from the Auburn family in the sense that they're, you know, current players, but they're still always part of the Auburn family. We've mentioned her recently. She has recently had her number retired. Yep. And I will go ahead and say this, Austin, This park this, put a pin in this for another day. We need to have a conversation about her potentially place on certain mm -hmm. Mount Rushmore's of uh, certain aspects of the Auburn experience. We'll get there. Dewana Bonner officially has passed into the number two slot, all-time WNBA postseason scoring. And folks, let me just give you some perspective on this. Number two all-time now, she passed Candace Parker. Most of you will know that name, Tennessee yep. great. She is now currently nestled behind Diana Taurasi. I'll give you some more information on that about, I, I know where some of y'all's minds is going, can she pass her? We'll get there. But Austin, I mean, this is incredible that we're, Yes, talking about someone that we all are very familiar with. If you were um, following the the Auburn women's basketball program during that time, I mean, she is quite the ambassador for Auburn uh, on the the biggest stage for women's basketball. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it's been really cool to see her kind of come back to the plains a little bit more in recent years. Um, obviously, for her number being retired, but right. um, I think that relationship with Johnny Harris and this staff has that's been a priority, and that's pretty cool to see. Uh, that's that's somebody that a lot of people don't know uh, or don't immediately uh, correlate mm -hmm. with Auburn. Um, it's a shame, and it it is a shame because she is one of the best, one of the greats, and she's certainly moving her way up the the lists. Um, so I don't remember if the sun are still in the playoffs. I think they I, are. I think they as beat of this the moment fever. they are at this, um, at this moment. They are. That's what I was thinking. I think they beat the fever to move into the second round. Um, Caitlin Clark in the fever. And so mm -hmm. I think that that's, that's exciting. And hopefully she can uh, maybe add a championship to that list of accolades. Let me give you some context. She is number two all time. I don't know that gonna we tough. are going to be able to get to number one. Diana Tarazi has 1,486 points. Uh, Dewana Bonner just made it past the 1,149 mark. So that's well over 300. She is 37 years old. Not to say that she can't play forever, but let's just let's talk about you know life and the reality of things here. I did some math in my head well, the other day when I was trying to think through this. I think if she kept her current clip of 15 points per game, and there's only there's a smaller amount of postseason games for the WNBA. She would have to at least play another three seasons and and play Ooh. every game that she could possibly play in and stay at that 15 points. And she yeah. may not even still get it. I could be wrong. There's some mathematician that's already crunched the numbers. It's like Kyle, you're wrong, but doesn't look like it's going to happen. But it doesn't take away from the significance of that of passing names like Candace Parker and in the same absolutely breath as Diana Taurasi. No, oh, for sure. Our friend Jesse tells us that the the sun is two and two in the semifinals, one game away from the final. So we maybe yes. we are talking about championship here soon. And don't blame us if after this show, after the live recording of this, we've jinxed you. I'm sorry. It's but, just but we're talking it, about what we know right now. It's happened before, so we're sorry. <laughs> it has happened before. It's always Austin's fault, though. Just remember that.